Convergence testing is a procedure where you vary the simulation settings and find the required settings for accurate results. Parameters that commonly require convergence testing are the simulation region span and mesh size. In this bent waveguide example, we are sweeping the X span of the simulation region and tracking the effective index. The goal is to find the X span where the result converges. You can use the sweep object for the convergence test. Note that you first need to run the modal analysis to make sure that the result you're tracking is available from the result drop-down menu of the sweep object. After finding the modes, create a sweep object and add the parameter to sweep, in this case the F span of FDE, and the result, and effective. Once the sweep is run, you can visualize the result by right-clicking the sweep object. You can see that the N effective is gradually converging as you increase the X span of FDE. The next example is a straight silicon waveguide embedded in SiO2. We use the mesh override over the SI waveguide to ensure that the mesh lines fall at the structure interface. This will help reduce the oscillations in your result as you increase the number of mesh cells. We fix the mesh override and increase the number of mesh cells in FDE, starting from 100 in X and Y directions respectively. The test result shows that you can get a converged result at around 600 mesh cells. See the links below this video to see more examples of convergence testing on simple waveguides that have an analytic solution.